Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards and I'm here to kick off another month of Stampin' Jamie's online card class and this month I'm going to be featuring the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. This is one um, I haven't crafted with um, quite as much um, but it's been fun to create some cards for you guys and I'm actually glad that this is sticking around for um, the new annual catalog so I hope you'll have a lot of fun with it too. If you missed out on signing up for the full class, which would include the stamp set as well as um, an ink pad and some of the Dragonfly Garden Designing Series paper, don't worry, you can still sign up to get the card supplies themselves. So if you're in Canada, it's only $25 and that includes shipping it to you anywhere in Canada and you'll have all the supplies that you need to make all four cards for this month. So let's get started on this month's card. So here's our first card using the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. I'm also using some of the Dandy Garden 6x6 designer series paper and a little bit of the Mossy Meadow braided linen trim, which you'll see me use on a couple of other projects later on this month. So for this card, what you'll need is your Blackberry Bliss card base, two pieces of very vanilla. Those are both the same size. And there'll be a smaller piece of very vanilla for our phrase. And then we've also got a couple of pieces of the Dandy Garden designer series paper. Now you can use whatever design you like. This is the one um, that I like because it pulls in the, the mossy meadow color from the trim and from the ink. So to start us off, let's fold our card base in half. So just get that nice and lined up. And I'm gonna use my bone folder. There we go. Just to get that nice, cream, crisp, clean fold. I'm gonna set that aside for now. And I'm gonna get one of my larger pieces of very vanilla to start. And so on the inside of the card, you're just going to add, there we go, that strip of, that small strip of Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. So just to pull a little something from the outside onto the inside of the card. And so just a little bit of stamp and seal on the back. Go. And so just lining that up against that bottom corner and then just kind of laying that down into place. So still lots of room to write a little note and still brings a bit of the outside of the card to the inside of the card. All right, so on our other piece, of very vanilla cardstock. That's where we're going to stamp one of the large dragonflies. Now you'll see in the stamp set that there's two different ones. They're the same size, but you can see that they're a little bit different. For this uh, card, I'm actually going to use this one here. So you'll actually have the darker body. So that's this one here. So you can tell the difference by the fact that the body of the dragonfly is actually solid, whereas this one, you've got the, the outline of it. You can always switch it up if you like. So there we go. There's our dragonfly. And so along with the Blackberry Bliss with this card, I'm also going to be using a little bit of Mossy Meadow. So for our dragonfly, I'm just going to gently tap him on my ink pad. There we go. And I'm not going to worry about this edge of the uh, very vanilla uh, cardstock too much because that's where that piece of designer series paper is going to go. So you don't have to worry about getting it right up to the edge on this side. I'd be stamping a little bit differently if, if that strip of designer series paper wasn't going there. There's two and one more down towards the bottom. There we 
go. And for our Blackberry Bliss, we're going to start by stamping. So this stamp you can actually use to color in the wings of your dragonflies. I'm just actually using it as a bit of, just a kind of a background image. So just gently tap that on your ink pad and then onto your cardstock. And just so filling in those gaps in between the dragonflies. And every once in a while, just rotate your image. And I'm going to do one more. Just peeking out a little bit from the bottom there. Okay. So let's set that aside to dry for a minute and pull in our small piece of, <clears throat> of very vanilla. And that's where our phrase is going to come in. So on the piece of cardstock you've got, it's a great size for the make good things grow all year long phrase. Go. Especially with it being spring, it's kind of a nice sentiment to be using. There we go. And so just center that on your cardstock as best as you can. Go. Now we're done with our stamping. So now we're actually gonna pull this all together. So that's gonna set up there to dry. And here's our card base and our vanilla, very vanilla cardstock from earlier. So this is just gonna go on the inside of our Blackberry Bliss card base. So whether it's tape runner or liquid glue or glue dots, whatever is kind of your go-to. There we go. So there's the inside of our cart. And then we've got our dragonflies here. So again, just making sure you get enough adhesive on the back of your cardstock so it'll stick. Some tape runners, I find I have to go all the way around the edges. But I don't find that I need to do that quite as much with the stamp and seal. There we go. And then here's our other piece of the designer series paper. So again, pulling in that mossy meadow. And before I forget actually, to pull in our braided linen trim. So here, that's gonna go right there. All right, and you'll have two pieces of the linen trim. So the first piece is actually just gonna get tucked right behind the, um, the card front that we just attached. So it's easy enough to do with just a couple of glue dots on the end of your linen, linen trim. You can do this in advance of sticking your card front on, which is usually what I do. But if you, if you don't, that's quite all right. Just lift up that corner and that glue dot holds it in place quite nicely. And then just grab one more glue dot So 
that a little closer to the edge there. There we go. So there we go. All right, and so just like before, so just tuck that up. I'm gonna use my spatula tool just to help get that all the way under. And once you've got that in place, just squish that right down and that glue dot will help keep that in place. All right, and before we add in our other piece, let's add on our sentiment. And so just a couple of dimensionals on the back of our phrase here. And it'll just, the linen, the linen trim will just go right in between. There we go. So we can still see our images. And then with your other piece of braided linen trim, just make a bow. And if you want to trim it down, that's totally fine. I'm getting a little picky about my bow today. There we go. So there's plenty of linen trim to get that nice bow. I'm just going to grab my scissors here just to cut a little bit of that off. There we go. And grab one more glue dot. And that's just go on the, the back of that knot from our bow. And that'll help hold that guy in place. And then to finish this off, I'm just gonna add a few of these smallest rhinestone basic jewels just along the that bottom little corner here. So the spatula tool comes in really handy for this. Oops, there we go. Here we go, and one more. So there we go. So there's our first card for this month's class. And as always, I'll show you another card that you can make using this same stamp set. So this one here is also with the dandy, uh, the dandy fly, dragonfly um, garden stamp set. Um, I've actually coordinated it with the the punch as well. And this is a little bit of the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. Um, but whatever patterned paper you have in shades of green will work in the background just fine. Um, and then I've done it with Just Jade, which is one of the um, the in colors that were released just last year. And then I added a little bit of Wink of Stella onto the wings of this dragonfly and used a couple of the stitched rectangle dies to frame the, the flowers and the phrase for this card. Thanks everybody for tuning in for this month's first card with the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. And if you want to sign up for next month's Stampin' Jammies online card class, I'm going to be featuring the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. This is one I'm super excited to share with you. And you have until May the 12th to sign up for the full class kit. And in the full class kit, you'll get the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set, a ink pad, along with some of the Sand and Sea designer series paper, along with all the supplies for the cards for that month. So... Make sure to send me an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And you can also check me out on Facebook at Inspiration Cards, or you can check out some of my other projects on my blog at inspirationcards.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.